So I'm going to be explaining the concept of pivoting in MS SQL, in actually SQL because it applies to Oracle, to PostgreSQL, to MySQL. So pivoting is one of the advanced or maybe intermediate to advanced topics, topics in SQL. So the best way to understand it is with an example. So we have a table right here. So this table represents the programs offered by a training center or a training uh, institute that offers computer training uh, on programming languages C, Java, Python, Scala. Now we have categories of the, the training program or sections of the training program. We have the theory, we have the practical, and we have the certification. And for each of them, there is a price. So here we have for Java practical, you have to pay 6,000 whatever. For Java theory, you pay 2,000. For Java certification, you pay 1,000, right? And the same thing goes for other courses as well. Now we want a situation whereby we want to know the total amount for a suit, right? So for each of this program, like for Java, I want to know the total cost of this certification. We also want to know the total cost for the practical and also as for the theory. So basically, what we are talking, what we are saying is that we want to pivot the category. So if we pivot the category, what we are going to have is a table like this that has course and we have practical. We have practical and we have theory and we have certification. So this is basically what we want to do when we, um, so this of course certification, when we pivot, this is exactly what we want to do. We want to take a column and take the distinct values of those columns and set them as rows. So when we pivot, we kind of take the column and set them as rows like this. So that's where the name pivot comes from. So in this case, uh, we will have to now write the code to actually do the pivoting. Now, as you can see, I'm using SQL uh, on my Mac. As you can see, this is Mac OS. So if you want to install SQL on your Mac, it's very easy. Uh, you see the link in the description box and take you to my tutorial a very simple tutorial on how to just set up SQL on your Mac. All right, let's pivot this table. Meanwhile, before we pivot, let me just show you the output of what, of what, we, exa what we exactly want to do. So here we have the output. This is the pivoted table right now. So in this case, we have the distinct costs this time. And for the Java theory, the total cost for the Java theory is $2,000. Dollars or something, the total cost for the practical and the total cost for the certification. Of course, this may be the record of several students, so you want to find out the total all the students have paid. Okay, so I'm going to start a new query now. So let's write the query to actually perform the, uh, the pivot, uh, pivoting. So first, let me just uh, display the syntax. So there is a syntax. Or, yeah, for, uh, for pivoting in SQL. So let's apply it here. Uh, and before I apply it, let me just display the table as well. I'm going to say select. All right. So this is our table and we want to pivot. So I'm going to shift this one a little bit downwards. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And if you are learning SQL uh, at this point, you can also find out in the description box of the video site of tutorials on SQL that is actually hands-on or practical tutorials on SQL. So basically, what, he, what this query says, if you are going to apply it for this table, is we are going to do something like select. So I'm going to start writing based on the, the syntax. I'm going to say select. We want to specify the columns that we want to use. In this case, we want to retain the cost, the cost as the first column, and we also want practical. Now, these are column names we want to use, practical and theory and certifications. So these column names, the first one 
corresponds to the first column that you want to remain the way it is, then the other columns corresponds to the distinct values in the column that you want to pivot. Okay, so I'm going to say from the table, which is uh, DBO dot programmers. Okay, and now we are going to use the keyword pivot and then we're going to indent here. And then we want to specify the aggregate function. So what, we, what do we want to do? We want to find the sum for all the practical, for each of the costs. Now, if you want to find for all the costs, then you can take out the cost table. Later, we are going to go a, deeper, uh, a little bit deeper into pivots. Uh, but for now, just understand how it goes. So we are going to pivot and we are going to uh, take the aggregate function sum. We are trying to sum up the total amount for the uh, categories of programs. So it's going to be for, sorry, aggregate function is going to be, first I'm going to open up uh, braces here and we, are, we, want to, we want to take the sum of, now the column that contains the values that we are going to be using as aggregate may be a different column. It can, it can also be the same column, but it depends on what operation we want to perform. In this case, we want to find the sum of the total price. So I'm going to say uh, sum of the pivot columns of, you know, yeah, sum of the price. Sum of the price, okay. Then, I'm going to move to the next, uh, the next line. I'm going to say for the pivot column now is a category, category in, and we specify the values exactly about the same that we specified here. So these three values, the values that we want to uh, use as pivots, that's we're going to convert these values now from columns to rows. So I'm going to specify them like this. It's going to be the same practical and theory and scientific certification. Okay, perfect. So let me shift this one a little bit. Okay, so um, let me see. I think we are okay. This is fine. And I'm going to now say us. We want to give a table alias. I'm going to give it a uh, pivots table. Okay, permit me to just check to make sure I'm not making a mistake. Okay, perfect. So this is exactly what we have done. This is the same task. You can actually do it yourself. So right now I'm going to execute this uh, function to see, just make sure it works. So let me execute it so by running. And it tells us execution fields. Okay, so I think this, the syntax was correct, but I think it's kind of trying to run the, the, the comment for whatever reason. So this is exactly what we want to achieve. And you can see that the total cost for C practical is $5,000 or 5,000 whatever. The total cost for the theory uh, for C, for C, you can see that C does not have a theory and that it gives it null, and so on. So this is basically how to perform pivoting. So the first thing you want to do is you want to determine the pivot column. What column do you actually want to pivot? In this case, is a category. Then you want to also determine what value do you want to aggregate. In this case, we want to find the sum of the prices for the practical and the column that's going to remain the same, uh, you also want to determine it, which is the first column in this case is a course. So this is basically it. Um, I would like to stop here and later on I'm going to be treating some more advanced topic in SQL. If you have some topic you want me to actually cover, please leave it for me as a comment uh, below this video. So I'll also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit on the subscribe button below to subscribe and this way you motivate me to keep making these lessons and also if you subscribe you kind of are going to respond to your comments quickly because i recognize that you actually are following my tutorials and if you find this video to be informative please like it and also share it around 
and I remain Kaimson the Tech Pro and we see you in the next lesson.